making some uh, delicious. I can't say they're good. I've never tried them. But um, yeah, I could not do apartment living. Couldn't do it. Nope. The people upstairs just walking, I feel like they're flat footed. Oh my god. And then this guy on this side smokes weed nonstop. Whenever you come anywhere near the front door here, it just like you could get high. Like I could, I think I could genuinely get high by standing by the door. And then yesterday for like probably a good two hours straight, he's just blaring some music. And it's not like, you know, coming on TV speakers or like a small set of computer speakers, you know, reasonable speakers when you live in an apartment in a shared building. No, he's got something that's got, you know, like a subwoofer with it. So bass just rattling through the walls. I'm like, so inconsiderate, dude. Oh my God. But aside from that, love the place. Uh, actually, two things we don't like besides that. That thing right there, trash. So that is a very old thermostat. And you might be like, well, what sucks about it? Like nothing really particularly about the thermostat, but the AC system, which is in that little closet thingy right there. I noticed in Florida, I don't know if it's just like newer construction or whatever, but the vents are like always in the ceilings, like whereas Michigan ours are in the floor or some like are in like the sidewall, like down at the bottom, like down there. Um, I actually like them in the ceiling better. Like I prefer that after experiencing it. But we got here, you've got this one right here for the living room, you've got that one right there for the dining room, and then there's one, like there's the AC, and then there's like one right here for basically the kitchen, one in the bathroom, and then one in the bedroom. Almost every single one of them was completely closed off, like the little, the little knobs in them. And we walked in here, we're like, wow, they need to turn the AC on. Like it was on, but it wasn't that cool. Now this is by far the coolest it's been in here. Um, last night, I finally, I realized those were all closed. And so let's backtrack. So there's a thing on the wall that says, turn the thermostat to 80 degrees when you leave. So obviously it's gonna be warm in here. Um, the thing is with Florida though, it's 90 to 100 degrees basically most of the time when you're here. So 80 should theoretically feel decent, even though I would never keep it at that. We walked in and we were like, whoa, like it wasn't hot, but like it wasn't at all cool either. So we're like, what the heck? So I walked right over the thing, turned it down to like 70. And um, the little temperature thing, which is just very hard to read was at like I don't know it looked like it was like on the 75 line and it did not drop at all for two days and this AC has been running non-stop the fans on auto but it hasn't shut off since we've been here not one time I turned it off on the thermostat to see if it worked and it did eventually shut off so like I know it does function so I turned it back on auto so the first night when we were sleeping or trying to sleep, I was just wildly hot. Like I was uncomfortable, literally could not get comfortable in bed. And that bed is like a heat magnet. Like I was sleeping with no blankets, no nothing. And we have the ceiling fan on full speed and it's moving a decent amount of air, thankfully. And it just wasn't enough. Normally I would wake up in the middle of the night after falling asleep hot and be like ice cold, like need to cover up. I woke up over and over and over like any part of my body that was on the bed was just hot like literally hot like that hot feeling when you have a sunburn and you try to lay down you're just like oh my god i'm so hot i can't cool down right so i slept decent i guess and then that brings us into yesterday when i found out all these vents were closed i finally opened them up we had the temperature had not dropped but like it felt better if that makes sense than when we got here even though the little needle thing hadn't moved like maybe it 
like lowered the humidity or something. Like it wasn't really humid in here, but maybe it got rid of some more humidity or something and it felt better. Don't really know. But I was starting to get convinced. I'm like that thermostat like doesn't work because that temperature one doesn't move. So I had went to the store yesterday morning, um, that direct tools outlet, drove around, charged the car, stuff like that. Shelby got up, we had some like breakfast, lunch, brunch, whatever. Took kind of like a quick nap and then uh, we ended up going to the pool. And then when we came back, we're like, wow, it definitely feels noticeably better after I opened those vents. So I'm like, maybe the house get more airflow. But in my head though, I didn't open the bathroom one. That one was already wide open. I'm like, if these vents were closed and that's what was preventing the AC from cooling down, that bathroom would be ice cold because all that cold air was basically being shoved into the bathroom. And that wasn't the case. The bathroom felt about the same as the rest of the house. But it does feel noticeably better. It is a little bit cooler as you saw. It looks like it's maybe 73 on that little needle. Like I said, I can't really tell because it's at a huge angle. But uh, aside from those two things, you know, I'm like I can deal with the, the people and the music and stuff like that. Like we're not gonna be here the majority of the day anyway, so that is what it is. But um, really the only crappy things are the AC and the bed because we're from Michigan. We also like to keep our house ice cold. We like to sleep in the ice cold. And this house is not it. These people, these these Floridians are like, oh yeah, turn the AC on 82. That's that's a nice brisk cold. Like, no, no, that's hot. <laughs> but yeah, I'm gonna try these uh hot and spicy scorching sesame shrimp shrimp noodles and uh it'll be a good breakfast at 8:30 in the morning. Okay, so update. These smell and look amazing it's got like little literal little shrimps in them but this is the fire sauce that makes them spicy it does not smell good so i don't really want to mix it in there like i kind of want to try it first it's just like hot oil <laughs> oh my god it's spicy it's it literally it's like olive oil like that's the consistency and taste and then it's just hot I'm just gonna mix like a little bit I like spicy stuff, but like that's not even good flavor. There's no flavor, it's just boom, heat. Ugh. Oh yeah, that's good. I'm not putting any more of that spicy stuff in there because that little bit is still a huge kick. Oof. Why do you gotta wait like a half hour to eat these two? They just stay smoking hot. It's gonna be G-O something, obviously go something. You didn't even try. <laughs> they took the swings out. It used to be over there. I don't remember them having that here. What is it? The, no. the jump thing, whatever the heck you call it. You know, they got a sugar factory. I low-key want to go in there and just... We went in there, remember? But we never sat down, though. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah, because the lady was in the chair, remember? She's like, 
can I help you? And I was like, uh, and I said a drink I wanted. She's like, we don't have that. I can't believe you're buying me one of these. I, you know what, guys? My credit's there. <laughs> Oh, was it driver side only? Yep. No. Yep. Is it? No, it says record. Because you're, it's recording you because you're by it. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> no, I mean, you could have opened it from that side. I just, go we'll take a picture. <laughs> Yikes. What's this? Blake. Blake. Charger. God, that scared me. <laughs> 100 bucks, it's a charger or a challenger. 